G'day guys, welcome back to the BMW M57 engine into the 105 series Land Cruiser build. Now if you guys are new, just re quickly recap, we pulled this motor out in the last video and built up a stand for it. Today's video we're ripping all the wiring out and all the parts needed and getting that engine running. So let's get to it. As you can see, we're trying to recoup some money, so we've done a bit of a wide body. Super sketch. First things first, off camera, I've pulled the high pressure fuel pump from underneath near the fuel tank and the high pressure fuel filter. So we've got those two, don't think we're gonna need them, but I will need them to make that run on there. If you know, you know. Okay, so we need to dismantle some of our dash. We need to get the cluster out. I'm gonna do it that way. We're gonna get the key reader out of it too. So we can do that and the gear shifter. I think that's pretty much everything. In here was our engine ECU. And you can see there's one left. Or pretty much harness left. Gotta get all that pulled out. Alrighty, so in here I've taken the uh, under tray here out. And you can see that's our main loom there that we want. So I'm just gonna pick this back. It does actually divert a little bit. That'll be going down to the fuel pump and everything, so. Alrighty, so over this side we've got everything unplugged. It looks like a lot and we're not actually going to use like 90% of this. I'm just pulling it out because I've always wanted to do this, get a loom out, lay it all on the floor and delete what we don't need. So so we got the dash pulled out of this thing. Honestly, it was only another like four screws. And a little bit down here, I had to actually break that. I made a bit of a mess of that because I couldn't remove the console because there's no power to the seat. So anyway, we'll get this loom pulled out. All right, so there you have it. The loom is completely out of the vehicle. Now the only things I had to cut we're up the roof there on either side. I had to cut the loom I had to cut that side down there as well. It heads to the back. There will be some important stuff in that, like fuel pump and things, but I uh, can work that out from a wiring diagram anyway. And unfortunately, the gear shifter, yes, I did have to cut that too. So that's okay. Uh, that harness can be soldered in anyway. Everyone will be saying in the comments, well, why didn't you just buy a a uh, plug and play loom. Well, I plan on getting it all running and everything that we need on the stand and then pulling the loom out of the cruiser and taping it all into that. So everything's factory from the get go. So taking out all the stuff we don't need in the cruiser and putting in the BMW stuff into that loom. So I want this thing to pop the bonnet and it just looks like OEM. There's no extra harnesses, cable tied and stuff to make it work and run. But here it is, we've got the cluster out. We've got the main fuse distribution box, which we're not gonna need any of that. Uh, I've got the throttle pedal, which we're going to need, but I'm probably going to use a patrol one. I don't know here yet. I've got the EWS unit. Uh, that's that. Uh, some other modules and things I don't think we need. Gear shifter as well. And here's the main loom here. So I'll be untaping all of this, obviously, and getting rid of most of it. But I'll let you guys know what we do and what we keep and what we don't keep sort of thing. 98% of this will probably go in the scrap and uh, only use a little bit of it because we're only running, obviously, the ECU side of it. So I'll just quickly mention that Max uh, on M57 Cruisers Group on Facebook has done like a Bible of how to swap all this into a 105 Cruiser. So if you guys wanna do like a read up of that, uh, it's all written there. He's done a really good job of documenting absolutely everything and I've been asking him a fair few questions. So definitely go check that out. I'll try and link it in the description if I can. So we've got the loom laid out on the bench here. We're gonna to start to unpick everything. So I got all that cloth tape pulled off. I had to wear gloves because I don't like sticky fingers, but looks much better now. And we can pick away all the wires we don't need. So let's do that. Alrighty, so here's what's left. We've got the ECU plugs, the couple of plugs that are right near those. Got the EWS, which we will be deleting here very soon, but I've got that to wire it up. Uh, we've got the cluster plugs. This is everything we do not need here on the bench. I'm gonna keep probably this part of the loom. I'm just unsure whether we need relays and things. It's always handy to have stuff like that, uh, just in case. And this is everything we have removed that I can get rid of that uh, was just no longer needed with the speaker wires and all that sort of stuff, some heavy can bus stuff. So I'll get all this tidied up and we'll hook up this temporarily and see if we can get it fired up. Okay, so a really quick update. It's been about four hours. This is everything we're gonna need to get this thing running on the floor. Now we don't actually need the instrument cluster. I've been playing around with that just for a bit of fun. I wanted to kind of get this thing working, see if I could power it up, but that's fine. We don't actually need that. Very messy at the moment because I've just roughly thrown it all together. We've got the throttle pedal plug, ECU plug, an engine plug, and we've got the two transmission plugs here uh, that talk to the transmission. So hook all this up and the instrument cluster is probably not gonna work, but I'll just, I'll play around with that later. We'll see if this thing will fire up. Okay, so I've got it really dodgily hooked up, everything. I'm in a bit of a rush. I really wanna see if this thing will go. It's probably gonna puke stuff all over the floor. 
We've got some jump leads. Uh, our battery cables aren't too long, so let's just see what happens. Oh, I always get nervous about this stuff. See what happens, eh? Probably help if I put the fuel pump on, eh? I just realised oh, I've left the sensor unplugged. I'm on the back of the motor. Alright, so I can't run it for too long, but that was freaking awesome. My main issue was fuel rail pressure sensor I'd unplugged, and I, I thought when I pulled the motor out, do not forget that, but anyway, I've forgotten it. So, plug that back in, and the fuel pump, I just had to prime that up with a syringe, that was fine. I, anyway, it happens, but we've got this thing running standalone. Now, in the next video on this thing, I will have the ECU reprogrammed. I need to get some of that cluster of wires out of the way so I can just really simplify this thing. Now, I was going to go over sort of the wiring on this thing, but there's too much there and I feel like I'll just confuse everyone. So we'll wait for the next video to where this thing is actually uh, deep in. So the EWS is gone, um, it'll have a tune and I think they do some other stuff while they're there. So we'll leave that to the professionals, but it is now running, it's a few wires, it's really easy. So in the next video, definitely stay tuned for that. But how good is that turbo sound? I'm freaking excited. So. so in probably the next, or the video, probably the video after, we're going to be doing timing chains on this. Uh, we're gonna do some seals and all that. We're gonna do a harmonic balancer that's really torn. I'll show a picture there. Uh, it's got a nice tear in it, so we're gonna fix that. We have to do some minor servicing on the gearbox and other little bits and pieces. I'm gonna do uh, intake manifold gaskets and things like that. Probably valve springs uh, and seals, hopefully. So all that sort of stuff to come, but I'm trying to do as much as I can. I'm a new dad, so I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can into these videos. And uh, hopefully you guys are getting something out of it and keen for the swap. So I didn't really explain yesterday too much about all this, but it's, this is really just a standalone harness. It just doesn't look pretty. So it's not all taped together. So once you get rid of the EWS system, you've, you've got a lot of wiring and then pretty much the uh, cluster sort of stuff. There's a few wires there that we don't actually need, like the EWS and uh, a few other things that run to it, the CAN bus and things. We don't need all that. Um, you've got basically ignition source to a few wires and to the ECU as well to wake that up and that also wakes up all the other relays here, oh, sorry, this other relay that turns on everything else. So it's pretty basic, these M57s, they're really easy to get running. It took me exactly a week to get this thing to this point. I went through uh, every single night, I went through all these diagrams, everything, tried to find out pinouts for the ECU and everything. They always change, everything's a bit different, but in the next video I will have this a lot neater. We're going to tidy all this up. We're gonna obviously have the EWS gone because we'll get the ECU tuned. So it's gonna be much neater and I'll go through it all in much more detail. This video was just to make sure we can actually get this thing running, which we've achieved and it is really, really cool to see this thing fire up. We've also got a couple of uh, gearbox uh, shifter plugs there and an OBD plug. So yeah, I'll tidy it all up in the next video, so stay tuned. So be sure to give this video some love, share it around. Make sure you consider subscribing and stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you in the next one.